China, the world's second largest economy, is facing a host of problems that could affect the global economy. These include slow growth, high youth unemployment and a property market in crisis. How much does it matter to the rest of the world? And who are the winners and losers in a global slowdown? China accounts for more than a third of the growth seen in the world. But its growth has been slowing down, partly due to its zero-COVID policy that has restricted economic activity. In August, China imported nearly 9% less compared to the same time last year. This means less demand for raw materials and commodities from other countries, especially those that rely on China as a major trading partner. Some of the hardest-hit countries are Australia, Brazil and several African nations that export coal, iron ore and other metals to China. These commodities are used for building houses and infrastructure, which have been affected by China's property woes. The collapse of Evergrande, China's largest property developer, has raised fears of a domino effect on the sector and the financial system. But not everyone is suffering from China's slowdown. Some countries may benefit from lower commodity prices and less competition from Chinese exports. For example, India, which imports most of its oil, could see its current account deficit narrow as oil prices fall. And some Western companies that compete with Chinese firms in sectors such as technology and consumer goods may gain an edge in the global market. China's economic troubles are not likely to cause a global catastrophe, but they will have significant implications for the world economy. The question is how Beijing will respond to its challenges and whether it can avoid a hard landing that could trigger a global shockwave.